Yo, what's up? <laughs> Welcome, my people. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Dudes, all right. We got some like serious talking to do, like some serious fucking talking to do. Okay. I think by now, I think pretty much everyone in the United States have seen that Diddy pit tape of Cassie being beat up. Um, what's up, Lost? What's up, Bleeding Things? Y'all seen the Diddy tape of him beating up Cassie? Y'all seen that? Some fucked up shit. That's pussy boy shit. That is pussy boy shit, man. He's a bitch. He, like, pulls her down. <laughs> by her hair on the ground and kicks her twice. Fucking drags her. Throws shit at her. This is only one video, okay? And you can tell by Callie's reaction this wasn't the first time she had to go through this shit with him. I mean, the girl was just trying to get out of the hotel because he beat the shit out of her the night before or the, that same day and given her a black eye. Yeah, he's trash. His his career is over. I don't think there's any way in hell he can be, like, brought back after seeing this shit. Uh, there's no way I would ever support him. And I'll tell you the truth. I don't think I could... I, I don't think I can even watch a movie anymore or support Hollywood at all anymore. It's, like, dead. Dude, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm I'm like fuck Hollywood totally. Close Encounters of the Third Kind, our favorite movie, Steven Spielberg, pedophile. Yes, yeah, Steven done. Spielberg is a pedophile. I'm done, man. I'm done. Like I loved Close Encounters, but to, and and ET and Indiana Jones and all of that stuff that he was involved in. Ridley Scott. Yeah, Tom Hanks, too. Yeah. Ridley Scott. No, 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 no. What? Well, no, no, Ridley Scott. No, not no. Ridley Scott? I'm saying Ridley Scott, we can watch Alien 1. James Cameron, nothing's been said about James Cameron. We yeah. can watch Aliens. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know anymore. Nothing's been said about them. I know, Stanley baby. Stanley Kubrick? Oh, my oh, God. Stanley's gone, man. He, he was an asshole. He abused Shelley so much. Duvall, so bad. On the set of um, The Shining, he he like he was like purposely having his staff um, not talk to her, look down at her, so she could like purposely like be fucking miserable for his fucking movie and isolated to feel isolated and miserable. Yeah, he purposely did that to that's her. That's sick. It is. That's abuse. Of your Mentally own. ill. That's that's abuse of your employee. And as for Eyes Wide Shut, he wasn't exposing them. He was just saying what they fucking did. Uh, no, I believe he was exposing, and that's why he died. Okay, that was... Hey, maybe he was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna tattle one day, and then he died. No, I don't think like, so. Like, I, I mean, Tim I Russell, he was talking about, like, yeah. the freaking, um... Three, two, two, skull the and skull bone. and bone shit, and then he ended up dead. Mm -hmm. You got Breibart, he's dead because he was exposed and shit. Explosive, they exploded his heart. Like, they made fucking uh, Feldman a fucking joke because they know if they kill Corey Feldman, everyone would point to them. Andrew Breitbart, three days before he died, said, I have the biggest evidence on Obama that you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Then he died, and it, nothing came out. Yup, yup. 
So whatever. I like Barack. He's like I can't support nice Hollywood guy, knowing that these people are around these people and knowing the shit that they do. Like how can I support Hollywood in any shape, way, or form any now that now? Yeah. Knowing knowing they're all involved in it. And not only that, Diddy's like involved with Jessly Maxwell was uh Diddy what 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 was that? Chief Diddy? of staff. Yeah. Did you know Jess Lane Maxwell was Diddy's chief of staff? What? The one who was connected straight with Epstein? Like what the fuck? They're That's all nuts. involved. All of our fucking leaders, all of them do it. Yeah. I can't support our government. No. I can't support anything anymore. It's They're all, all trash. It's all evil. All of them. And, and and for the Trump lovers, I hate to tell you, but he was involved in this shit too. That's right. How many times are you going to overlook him being with Jeffrey Epstein? I'm How not, many times? Yeah, that's right for Trump supporters. He's part of it. I can't support someone like that. Look, look, look how Diddy beat the shit out of Kathy. I guarantee Trump's done that to fucking Melania. I guarantee. Oh, man, who knows? The man is vicious with his words and his actions. Vicious. No, he gets out of it, though, because people want to believe in this cult of personality with Trump. You're going to overlook everything for the cult leader. No, it's all of them. We got to get rid of all of them. Every single one of them. Trump included. All of them. All of them. Get rid of all of them. Trump's amazing. From society. Fuck them all. The FBI should take care of every single one of them assholes. I think Trump. Put them all in a fucking prison. I think Trump is your. And light the fucking prison on fucking fire because fuck them. Abusing everyone, making everyone their slaves, creating just such upheaval in fucking society. You're a Trump fan? How can you overlook Epstein? No, you gotta repent now of it. How can you overlook it, Epstein, proud patriot? Yeah. How can you overlook that? It's time to After knowing what Diddy's done, we have video evidence of that shit, okay? Why do you overlook that shit knowing that he was contributing to sex trafficking? Come on, man. Why do you think Jeffrey Epstein was murdered in prison? It was to protect the president. Trump is probably the top Mason in the world. Maybe under Netanyahu. Wake up. They, they infiltrate both sides all the time. Listen to David Icke. The app order KO. Donald Trump is not a Christian. He has a, a tribute to Apollo in his apartment. They all do it. They control both fucking sides. And we're letting them get away with this shit. We're letting them get away with this shit. Every fucking day. Every time we fucking turn our eyes. I still... Still, things were better in my life when Trump was in office. Yeah. How can... Uh, you didn't answer my question. You can't overlook this. Stuff. How can you overlook the Epstein thing? You didn't answer my question. And we're not telling you vote for Biden. We're not saying that. I'm not saying that. He's part of the problem, too. Yeah. Both of them are. It's both sides. They infiltrate both sides. You claim you're a truther. Remember what you fucking fucking were taught. Hashtag don't rock the vote. Don't vote. Don't vote. Don't contribute to the system anymore. They're all fucking horrible people. I'm not doing it anymore. Fuck all of them. All of them. I'm not going to overlook Trump at Epstein Island. Why would you? Why would you? You can't even answer why you overlooked the Epstein Island thing. You can't even say it. Why do you overlook it? Why do you overlook it? You can't even answer that. You're so fucking brainwashed. That shows that you're brainwashed, man. And I'm not yelling at you because I hate you. Oh. I'm trying to break your programming. Yeah. Because I've been brainwashed. The Epstein thing is not something I have fully looked into. Oh, okay. we'll you should. As a voter, as a voter, do it today, Patriot. 
Go look at the Epstein stuff today. Please. I, please. Look into it. Please look into it. We're talking about sex trafficking children, okay? Please look into it. It's really bad. I'm not lying to you. It's the same shit that every fucking person does. In, in power. Yeah. It's the same thing. He's the same people. He's the same people. He's no different. You're just being told a fucking lie and being taught a show. Come out of her. Come out of the United States of America. And join the human race for our survival from these evil, fuck-tarted Freemason bastards. Got it. You got it. Are we going to continue to place the chessboard? Are you going to continue to allow yourself to be manipulated into voting for two sides of the same fucking coin? Are you going to realize, finally... That, well, what the fuck? I thought Obama was something different. I put Obama in. He didn't close Gitmo. It's the same shit. It doesn't matter if he was a black man. It doesn't matter. He wasn't going to free you. This system needs to fall. What happens on January, or sorry, what happens on November 7th, okay, 2024, if they have zero votes to count? What would happen in this country if on, G on November 7th, not one ballot for anyone was cast? What happens? That is a no confidence vote in your government and it's going to fall. And let it, it fall. It should. I know you're afraid, but let it fucking fall will be much better. Yeah. We can grow our own food. We can we can save water and, and drink it. We can restore the balance of nature and restore the balance of society by getting rid of these fucking freaks. We have to, yes. I was just going to say that. We have to get these people that are into this stuff out. They are polluting what could be a righteous nation. Do you get what I'm saying? They are Crowley and Satanists. They're into sexually abusing children for power, for spiritual power. This is not, you're not wrestling with flesh here and blood. This is spirit. When they sexually abuse a child, they get dark fucking powers from it. And people like Matt Gates are into that. Look it up. Look I, it up. You have to know this. Research it. We've researched both sides. Yeah. We're telling you, come out of this, all the, and it's this system. It, he says in Revelation, it's time for you to come out. You must, because your soul is attached to this shit that they do. Do you get that? Nationally, as a nation. But look into the Jeffrey Epstein stuff, please. Look there, into it. Research it. You have to. I'm not telling you... What to believe. I'm telling you to research it. You have to. Which is way more important for you is to research it than, than not. You need to research this. If you, if you really truly believe in the vote, research it. Research Donald Trump and Epstein. Mm -hmm. And then Donald Trump and Diddy. Mm. Mm -mm. He's into it, man. They're all... It's they got Donald Trump on tape drugging women and raping them. All right. Over and over again, the feds. Now, that's allegedly. Allegedly. That has not come out that that's on video. Allegedly. Don't make, don't make a look that way, hon. Allegedly. They got lots of tapes, though. Yeah. From several politicians. They say, yeah. Why do you think... Uh, what is his name? Jack Smith? The prosecutor. The yeah. prosecutors. Why do you the think prosecutor. Donald Trump lied and then this happened? Why do you think it all started? Because they looked into the things that which Trump was doing and then it led right to Diddy. That's nuts. That's why Trump's in a RICO case. And Diddy's, Diddy's case is going to be a RICO case. Diddy's case is going to be a RICO case. It's a spider Trump's web. case is a RICO case. 
it's a spider rib and they're all involved and none of us should support these people because no. they're criminals. Yeah. And they Satanic fucking criminals that are just want to destroy you. You're nothing to them but people who just feed them money. They don't give a fuck about you, these people. They're worshippers of Apollo. Okay. Apollyon. Uh, look that name up. Okay, it's yeah, <clears throat> it's called the god of forces, and it was not something that was understood at all in the Bible. Really, it's just a name of a god given. John didn't explain in Revelation who Apollyon is. He didn't explain it. He expects you to go check that out. You know, the god of forces. They believe in mammon worship and war. They worship money and war. That's it. That's their gods. Donald Trump's God is not Jesus Christ. Donald That's why Tr they say they believe in God, but they never say Jesus Christ. Yeah, and you never hear him confess that name. You've not heard Trump confess that name once. He said once, well, there is one guy that's famouser than me, and that'd be Jesus Christ. That's how he said it. Putting himself like he's God. Jesus Christ. That's the only time he's ever mentioned the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, every other time it's God this, God that. Which one? You flip the Bible upside down, I know who your God is. It's the Masonic God, which is Lucifer. Simple. That's real easy. Okay, it's really simple. You could go in, in there as a Christian with good intentions and you just want a brotherhood. You know, I want to go and talk uh, to a bunch of guys every week about the shit that's on my mind. And then they tell you eventually, once you pass that other level, uh, and once you're initiated, they're like, yeah, guess what? The Christian thing, it don't work here. Have you checked out uh, how weird their initiation ceremonies are? Yeah. If you haven't checked out what Freemasons, initi initiaries, you know, rituals are, look into it, because it's really fucking weird. It's remembrance of uh, the funeral and resurrection raised from the dead of Hiram Abiff. The first Mason, that's the, he was an Egyptian Freemason that built Solomon's temple, the plans. It's a tribute to him. And you go through that as you play Hiram, the first Mason, that you're the star of the show when you do this ritual. And it's meant to bind you to the brotherhood and what they believe. If you take that oath, you've just taken an oath to Lucifer, because that's their God. And a death oath. And you could say, no, I'm a Christian. I put my hand on a Bible. You put your hand on a Masonic Bible. You put your hand on a Masonic Bible that's marked with a square and compass on it. You took an oath to Lucifer, and you need to re renounce it. If you took an oath in Masonry, you must renounce it. And, in the name of Christ. Jesus. And you have to denounce all bonds and chains that are connected to you and any demon that There's going to be Jesus. sex demons connected to it. Yes. You're going to have because sex. Because another yeah. Mason ritual is when they marry little boys. What the hell is this? They call it a partnership, you know? Right? They pair up these little kids with old men. And in the Eastern Star, I believe, uh, my mom, I think, told me about this. In the Eastern Star, they have little girls, very young, nine years old. They bind their vaginas up and their breasts they, up. Yeah, they put these, it's bondage shit for, like, Japanese bondage stuff. They put uh, wires under their breasts so that they're really propped up. And, like, you know, if you take a cord and you put it under a woman's breast, it could swell it. That's what they do to them. They put them in these bondage things. You think that's normal? Is this okay, this shit? This is what's ruling your government. If you're not saying to yourself, like, fuck my job. I have to go to Washington right now and say no more of this fucking evil. Yeah, that's how you should feel. Because you're living under this every day and doing nothing about it. You have a satanic government, fully satanic. And, and you look at the culture and you wonder why it went that way. It's because our national leadership is that way. And it's not only our government. Mm -hmm. It's Trudeau. Mm -hmm. 
it's Markle, yeah, it's Prince Harry, it. it's Prince Charles, it's Prince Andrew, it's it's Jean Pin, it's Kim Jong Un, it's Putin, it's Benjamin Netanyahu. They're all involved in this shit. They marry children and they diddle them. And then they, the last thing they do is they let the blacks into the masonry and they defile them as a race. And they make them hate their race. You should really look into what Diddy used to do with, Ken, with his wife, Kim. And he, at the same time, he was pulling freaking Cassie and saying all this racist shit to Kim. Like her, 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 her uh, darkness doesn't compare to Cassie because she's Latina. It's insane. It's insane what these people have been doing. And we all need to pray to God that the FBI takes care of every single one of them. Because the American people see it. The world sees it now. We see it. We know they're evil. Which means, since we know they're evil, it's time for them to step out of the uh, shadows and say, Hello, we're your gods. No, you're not. No, you're not. There's only one God, and that's the Creator, and you can never be like Him. Never. There is no one like Him. And I, I honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't care if I die for this. If I die for this, thank God, because I'm exposing monsters. The light is supposed to expose monsters. If you don't go and tell this to others about these people after you research it, blood will be on your hands. Know this. Yeah. You have to expose it. As a Christian, you have to expose this darkness that's going on in our world right now because it's getting worse. Yeah. And you don't want your children to go through that stuff, do you? Or your grandchildren or your nieces or nephews. Victimized. Your brothers, sisters, it's going to happen if you let these people get away with what they're getting away with. We got to speak out. Think about it if it was your daughter or son. Okay? The Vince McMahon stuff, I can't go into detail about because I think that would get us flagged. Because I've heard the details of what happened to that girl. Holy Jesus in heaven. Like, Diddy's bad, but the look into Vince McMahon, dude, because the, they'll tell you the details of what they did to this girl. She's crippled. She's in a, She can't have children, ever. And there was this uh, TikTok blogger that was talking shit about Diddy, and she's dead. She's dead. She died recently. This How about that so little girl? Up. That Ava girl, what happened to her? That little baby. What happened to that girl? What did they do to her? No, you don't want to know. This stuff is so evil. And, it's... And, and and everyone's like, well, why hasn't Diddy gotten arrested? Because they're watching every single one of the tapes. You're talking about 20, maybe 30 years of tapes of celebrities and our politicians getting it on and doing horrendous things for blackmail purposes. No. It's so bad, man. I mean, I should be able to talk about certain stuff and hit the, in the context of history, okay? The torture methods that the Vatican used on women. I, but it probably get me thus flagged off. Yeah, it's a. It would be a history talk about what the Vatican did to women. Just look into it. Yeah, you got to look into it yourself. I mean, it, it's just awful. No, it's... Like that pyramid thing that they used on the women. That's what I'm saying. You can, I, you can only imagine what can imagine they could what do that, to a woman with a pyramid. With a stone pyramid. Just, just imagine that. Okay? You can think about that for a second. Yeah. 
These people are horrendous and they need to be stopped and people need to start speaking out against this because the more people speak out against this, the more it will be known, the more people will be educated about this and the, the, the fact is we can get rid of these fuckers. People have to realize it's their government. It's their, it's the Your media. Your government's into it. It's the media. It's every, 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 everything you thought you knew you're going to have to forget and and think that it's good. It's not good. If it's dealing with people you don't know. Not at the end. Mm. That's, why, that's why it says at the end. If you're in any system, you have to come out of it. Any system, you have to come out for your spirit. You're going to lose your fucking soul if you're involved in this. And, or if you're keeping quiet and you know that this stuff has been happening. Right. You better speak. Yeah. You better call the police and let them know. I was mildly into the media with what I did. Everything bad I saw, I said it. Like those in the hangouts that I saw kids in tubs on G+. I flagged every bit of it and I told people about it. You had pedophiles filming children in tubs on G+. That's part of the reason it got shut down, definitely. It was mainly credit card fraud. People were stealing credit card numbers in G+. But there was child porn in G+, Hangouts, live. Kids in tubs, live. Nude. I flagged it and said, look at this. What the fuck is that? On G plus, they don't know what G plus is. Oh wait, oh wow, yeah, on G plus. Yep. Very few people looked at the Hangout stuff, but there was a Hangout site. It was Google Hangouts com, something like that, and it was a list of live streams, random people. I saw it at least twenty. It had to be at least twenty, where it was literally a tripod camera pointed at a tub with two kids in it, nude. Ugh. I flagged every one of them. Child porn. I will not say where I work, but I work in the fraud department, and the stories I could tell would rock people's minds. Yeah, yeah, I bet you. I bet. Yep. I bet you. You're right. I'm sure. You're not lying. People yep. are debauch, man. People mm -hmm. are debauch. And I wish I could be an FBI informant because I could point so many people out. Both of us could point so many people out if the FBI would listen to us. We know people who are into sex trafficking. Yeah, I'll tell you right now I'd work for the feds in a second. And if the feds hear us, we will be informants for life for you. Yeah. And we won't lie. And, and, and we will tell the truth because yep. I want to serve my country the right way. White hats. White hats. We will not be black hats. White hats. I will not do shady shit. No. Just know that. We want to expose the darkness. Only. We don't want into your sex trafficking shit. We're not into that. Fucking drag the boule tried to get us into that. We're not into it. Because we're actual, we're trying to be holy in this planet, on this fucking rock. It's hard. It's not a rock, it's a living being. Temptation is everywhere to do the wrong thing. And get an easier buck. Did you know that the planet's a living being? Oh, that's pagan. Why did Jesus call it mother? Her, she... The planet's living. The planet is has a spirit, dudes. Mother. You just can't see her fully because we're in the third dimension. We're not in the fifth, sixth, or seventh dimension. We can't see her spirit fully, but, sh but we can see it through nature. We can see her effects through nature. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Every plant has an energy signature. Every plant. That's proof of the soul, man. Yeah. 
everything has a soul. The natives were not wrong. They were completely right. You want science, DNAs and everything. You want science, DNA. And God is within DNA. Yeah, he holds it together. Through a cross. <laughs> Through a cross. What? Yeah. He told the resurrection story in our DNA. In the and, DNA. And now scientists can't even, they, they can't deny God anymore. No, they can't. Because, see, God is like gravity. You can't see it, but you can see his effects. He's an equation. God's an equation. When it comes down to the math, yeah, he's an equation. You can prove him. You can. If you know the math, maybe Zach will. Zach's brilliant enough, probably. He is. He'll solve God, the math problem with God. My, my son would solve God. He'll prove God with math, Zach. Thus saith the Lord. Yep. That's it. Okay. He's brilliant. It's amazing. Like, come on, y'all. We got to be able to realize that Jesus Christ and the devil is real. Yeah. And we're, we are in the brink of seeing the separation between the tares and the wheat. It's happening. You know, yeah. remember what Jesus said. He's going to pick the tares up and burn them first. Yeah. And we're going to inherit the earth. The meek shall inherit the earth. Do not fight. Your only weapon is your mouth. Nonviolence. That's why Jesus, we, we think, yeah, oh, Jesus said, sell all you got and buy a sword. That's what these patriot type guys tell you. You realize that was just for intimidation tactic. If you got a sword strapped to your side, then the Romans ain't going to mess with you, probably. And no Bedouin that wants to rob you is going to mess with you either. It was just a protection measure. He's not saying go cut, motherfuckers. But he said to Peter, put that shit down. That's not how we do it, man. And you should know that by now. Sorry, Lord. And Jesus is like, yeah, come here, the guy. He heals his ear. Jeez, Peter, what's the deal? <laughs> but I guarantee those Roman soldiers knew he was uh, after that. They knew who he was. Yeah, they oh, knew. That was, yeah. And it scared the hell out of everyone. You heal your enemy? That's what he did. Exactly, Donnie. The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Donnie, God bless you. I hope you're good, dude. This economy sucks, Donnie. I'm hating this. Do you economy. enjoy your your uh, Saturday too, Captain? Yeah. Happy Sabbath. Amen. Sabbath till the sun goes down. Right. On Saturday. That's right. That's right. That's the real Sabbath. Bro, they tried coming for me. Ah, uh, fuck them. They're yeah, idiots. Yeah, didn't they? Didn't they? The Freemasons? No, oh. I mean, our haters probably because... That... Well, you know what? Let them come for me, too. I don't haters. give a shit. Their little intimidation tactics ain't gonna work for me no more. Mason haters. Why are you hating? Because I'm ex telling the truth? Because we were supposed to be in with you. We don't want you. Okay. I troll. I troll the fuck out of people and say, yeah, I'll go back to my family roots and be a mason. What did yeah, you guys right. eat today? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> whole lot of fasting going on. I gotta pee Probably pee. why we feel so holy. I try, We're drinking coffee to cover the hunger, but now we're out of coffee too. So... That's that. Honor thy father so I didn't go. No, nah, man, I understand. I understand. Uh, like, if Eastern Star came to me and be like, we offer you all this wealth and fame and all this bullshit, I'd be like, fuck off. I don't want you. You do evil and iniquity in the sight of God. Get behind me, Satan. 
That's what I would say to them. Get behind me, Satan. I'm protected by Jesus Christ and his blood. Okay? And you, de your demons know not to touch his anointed. Not a good thing for you if you touch his anointed. Maybe, maybe you can get your low-level, stupid, useful idiots to take care of the situation. I don't know. I don't care. I have nothing to live for. And I got everything to die for. Because, see, me dying, I get all my rewards in heaven. What do you get when you die? Burning. Look at me. I'm burning for all eternity. Because I decided to do wicked things. Oh, poor me. To me, you got what you deserved. You spend your whole life being wicked to people. And then you expect there's not going to be any consequences or justice to that? Mm. You get off at hurting people. You get off at hurting people. Don't you love Christ? Don't you like love? Like, seriously, what makes it when you see someone suffering and crying? What 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 exactly makes you, like, find that, like, happy? Because when I see that, all I want to do is help the person so they don't have to suffer no more. As much as I can, at the, as much as my ability. Some people who are suffering, you can't help them. But if I can't help them, I certainly can comfort them. What, what, what? That, that's beyond you. You can't think that way, can you? Or understand that way to comfort someone when they're hurting. You can't, you can't think that way. Instead, it's being cold, angry, irrational, violent to solve the problem of someone crying and feeling pain. Nobody's above the law. Nobody's above the law. And eventually God is going to put things in you your way to stop you from being wicked. God will force you to stop you being wicked in any ways and means possible. See, for you Freemasons, I don't think you understand. You better come out of your little fucking weird club. You better fucking get out of your weird fucking club. Because if you don't get out of your weird fucking weird club, you're going to get the second death. That's speaking of in Revelation. Unless you really truly think that's a good thing to do. It's not stupid. I'm really, really curious. It's stupid. Wake up, man. I, I ain't following no Freemason. I ain't going to look at you good or anything. I see you a Freemason. All I'm going to do is preach to the Lord to your face. Get you on the straight and narrow. Come out of her, children. Come out of her. Yeah. Love Christ enough to say, fuck you to the Freemasons. Love Christ enough for that. I'm going to put my hubby on. He looks like he wants to talk. Yeah, there's something that I just have to ask this because it doesn't make sense to me. <clears throat> this doesn't, and, and I confess, with, with Trump in 2016, I decided to overlook shit. But the Epstein thing, I knew I was aware of that. And it never really came to my mind much. I, for some, It's like I was brainwashed, it really is. I, I was watching too much pro-Trump propaganda from Infowars, and, and it turned me to just be like, yeah, he's it. I, that happened, definitely. But here's my question. I don't understand how the truth movement, because it's the truth movement, right, that says, look at this Epstein Island stuff. It's really evil. 
they sex traffic young girls and we want to end this. I remember Alex having on like that, that, uh, what was his name? So, uh, oh my God, the saw man, that dude. He's like a former uh, Navy SEAL, uh, a Green Beret, I think, actually. Uh, and, and, and he has an organization helping to, to end child trafficking and, and sex trafficking. He had him on and, and they're, they're talking about Epstein and stuff. How can you cover Epstein Island and the names on the list without seeing Donald Trump there? But then we go to a Donald Trump segment and then we glorify him as this definitely is going to be great for the country. We need to support Donald Trump. How can you do that when he's on Epstein's list? That doesn't work. It doesn't. You see, you're fighting Epstein Island shit while your president that you're supporting is on the list of guys that was a patron of it. You guys completely were blurring. I was definitely. It's because they feed you pro Trump shit all day. The truther movement. And he's definitely the one. He's good. He wants to help. He's fucking probably the top part of it. He's like total new world order. Do you get it? You can't support this guy no more. Okay, that's why I was there. I loved him in 2016. I would have fucking voted 10 times for him if it was legal. Okay, which it's not. You vote once, which I did. Okay, He's evil. He's part of it and probably the top of it. Near. I mean, look what he does with his daughter. Thank you for that. Look at the gross things he does with his daughter. Real weird. He says that the thing they have in common is sex. What? She is used that? to give him lap dances in front of everyone. How old was she, Shan? 14 or 14. something. 13, 14. You don't have to put me on. Oh. It's your turn. Uh, okay. We're doing the two witness thing, you know? That's how it works. But, dude, like, if you don't know, look at it. You, you talk to. about Biden's hair sniffing while ignoring fucking Donald Trump pretty much feeling up his own fucking daughter. True. Look at the old pictures he has with her. They're always on a bed together. Why would you take a picture of being on bed with your daughter? What is that? Ugh. What is it? He ain't gonna get shit. Wise. <laughs> a little bit. I got a little. Nothing came out. That's dry as shit. A little bit. Anyway. These are old devices that we've had. We're just trying to get what we can. <laughs> he wants his daughter. Yeah, he wants his daughter. Hulk Hogan, too. Well, he's repentant now. Hulk Hogan says he's of Christ, but he is he? just repentant. But, but no, listen. He just came to Christ, okay? I just... Do not condemn. We can, we can say the same thing about Marilyn Manson, but are they doing this to try to say they changed? I ain't blessed because they, the Holy Spirit. Well, if Hulk no. Hogan is on those videos, he deserves exactly what he's getting, and that's prison time. And he'll take it, because he's a believer now. Yes, Biden's daughter. Like, he used to take showers with his daughter and do weird things to oh her. Oh my God, I forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. What? What? Could all the males that are in here, would you think it's appropriate? I, Your biological daughter, okay? Would you think that it's appropriate for you to go into the bathroom with her in the shower? That's a no for me. If, if she's in danger and maybe dying... Like something's wrong, yeah, you open the door to see. Yeah. Yeah. We got to stop overlooking this shit. But to walk into, like, it's no big deal. Like, oh, it's just my daughter showering at 13, 14. That's a no for me. If she's in danger, yes, you go in to see what's happening. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm hmm Right, guys? Like, I need the meals. At Thank first you, you, Donnie. You're, see, Donnie. See, at first you'd send the wife. To, to be like, oh my God, something happened to the girl. Honey, can you go check on her? You'd send the yeah, wife. Yeah, the wife. Yes. Just like you do with me with the boys. Go check what the hell's going on. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, no. Exactly. That's right. That's, I think that's correct. Yeah, Biden sniffed girls. 
What a tell shit again, Shan. Sorry. He, he's there's tons of videos of him sniffing girls and women's hair. But but the he used to shower with his daughter. Yeah. Biden showered with his daughter. And that's in her journal. Yeah. How old was she? I think she was she was little. Like six, seven, something. That's not normal. Showering with your daughter. Period. Well, no, I, I no, was no, like no. three or four, and my dad put me in the shower. Showered with you? Uh, yeah. No. Your dad was weird, too. Dude. Yeah, he was a little weird. Your dad he? was a little weird. We're going to have to. All darkness comes to light. If it's in ours, Ugh. I gave it all up the first day this started happening. Yeah, you never know. You don't. I don't remember shit. A lot of shit of my childhood. I need, like, I need, I think, hypnosis regression therapy. Yeah, man. To know exactly everything. It's just, like, come on now. This, this, like, we need to stop overlooking this shit about these people just because they're up for election. We gotta stop looking over what these people are doing just because they have a movie or they they have music or something like that. We all went through stuff, I think. Yeah, Donnie, man. Lots of people did. But like Shani like said, oh, you want to paint your pinkies one day? I'm like, all right. You know what this means, right? This There's a meaning for that. As boys have been molested. Like, that didn't happen for no reason. It just hit me. This shit. I started remembering things. You know? I haven't got an appointment for my therapist yet. I want that. Yeah. I gotta talk about this. Yes, you do. And I'm sorry he went through it. Yeah, I don't know the full extent. I don't. But I've started. Neither do I. I don't. I, I. But I'm starting to remember shit. We all block out our trauma. Thank you, Donnie. Donnie's awesome people. Yeah, he is. And fuck anybody that would attack that dude, man. He's just a chill guy, man. Why are you attacking people any? Because they're nice, man. Like you know all this shit about us, and you still attack. And what the fuck is wrong with you? Jesus, you're relentless, stupid fox. Her asshole, man. Yeah, man. Chill the fuck out in your life. I'm gonna attack people that help people. I'm so sorry, Lena. Get it out, everybody. You know, anybody in chat that's had shit happen to them, say it. Yeah, get it out. It does fuck feel it. better after it's... Yeah. Me too. Me too. 2.0. Yeah. Hashtag me too. Yeah. We've all gone through it. That's so fucked up that most people in society have gone through this shit. I was as privileged as you could be. I had a dad with two good jobs. A mom that didn't have to bust her ass to do anything to, to, to keep our family going. My dad's income was plenty. I had a great childhood, but then... There's that weird shit with your dad. There's weird stuff. Mm-hmm. There's weird stuff. And I'm not going to go into it because I don't want to slander Well, there was that time when I was 17 and my dad grabbed my ass and then joked about it. It was like the mm -hmm. weirdest thing. No, that's... I felt so uncomfortable with that. That's really weird. It's like you don't grab your daughter's ass. I'd never be into that. Ew. Highly bizarre shit. I grew up privileged too, but there's always someone plotting and watching, yeah. I guess so. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with people? Our parents even. Our parents even. What the fuck is wrong with our parents? Like, all of us have been so fucking abused in life. I'm fucking tired of this shit. Grabbed it. Yeah. My grandfather used to do that. Not a, yeah. Yeah, like he grabbed it. Nah, and he had big bear hands. Yeah, like, grab. No. 
No, that's not appropriate to fuck Right you. under my, my ass cheek. That like, is fucking not, pinching it. That's not appropriate. Like, to really close to my how pussy. Old? How old? I was 17. That is absolutely not fucking okay to do as a dad. Could we be all, could we fucking say this shit and mean it? That is not something that is okay at all. That's sexual harassment by your father. I'm so I'm so sorry, proud patriot. I'm so sorry. That's not okay. My god. What is wrong with our families? I don't know. Ugh. I'm just saying, people who lived through that free love movement, they're fucking gross. Something was flipped. Like, their generation is fucked up. Something was flipped, yeah. Yeah. In the 70s. Yeah, the 60s and 70s. Yeah, the Those late people 60s. are fucked up, man. The early 60s were mostly on... My mother said it was the Beatles. When mm. the Beatles came to America, it changed the country. She, they, she said that. My mom is innocent completely. I know that. A hundred percent. She is a hundred percent. And then you got Madonna in, uh, what was that? Uh, like a prayer and she's kissing that boy, that little boy. No, at, like, I remember he's like 12 that. and she's like, I, I was 12 at the time too. I, I remember think. seeing that. And my mom's like, what the fuck is she doing? That's some fucked up shit. That's a kid. Yeah, right? I re yeah, I saw that as a kid. My mom thought it was fucked up and she's abusive as hell, but she thought that was fucked up. So she thought something was fucked up. That's pretty Nudist fucked camps. up. And then there's a there was a video on on the internet. I don't know if you can find it anymore. Demi Moore making out with this thirteen year old boy. I haven't seen that. At his though. bar vis bar uh, mitzvah. Oh my god, that's oh because it's his bar mitzvah. It's okay to make out with a kid, Demi. <laughs> right. I no. I don't think they're so. all involved in this shit. They all are. You history. got, you got, you got Johnny Carson used to talk to little girls like that, like Drew Barrymore. Like, I want to marry you. I want to marry you in 10 to 15 years. Like, what the f Yeah, Demi Moore, definitely. That is, yeah. I knew it was, I, Shani actually seen it. I haven't seen the video. You can't find it on the internet anymore. Is it gone now? I think so, they yeah. They scrubbed that shit? They scrubbed that shit. They scrubbed that shit. Cause she's a queen of Hollywood. We can't do that. You guarantee freaking Bruce Willis and Demi Moore went to fucking P. Diddy parties. Damn well, no, they did. Uh, like, uh, everybody did, right? Yeah. Pink. Look what Pink did to Justin Bieber on the VMA. And he was, what did Pink do to Justin Bieber? What's that? Tell us about that, uh, Lena. What did, what did Pink do to Justin Bieber? Yeah. Oh, Justin Bieber's been so fucking abused. Real bad. I feel bad for that guy, man. Diddy messed up his butthole so bad that Bieber had to go to the hospital. Same dude. with Usher. And Usher, too. They messed up their butthole so bad when they were kids, they had to go to the hospital. He had to stitch up their anus. What? They tore their anuses. What? That's so gross. That's so gross. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why do you? Wh why is that fun? Those kids were thirteen years old at the time. What? You're gonna be okay with this? I'm not. I I'm definitely not okay with it. Pink grabbed. Him. You want to read? Pink grabbed his butt and forced to kiss. He was so obviously trying to get away from her. It's on you. Ugh. Okay. Wow. I didn't hear that. Ugh. You love pink. I love pink. Ah, oh, fuck pink. She can go to hell. She's a pedophile. There you go. Yuck. You finding that? You, you finding a little boy attractive, you big fucking pink bitch? That's weird. Bieber had a beautiful voice and everything, but he's a child. He was clearly a child. Like, my mom would have saw that song and went, oh, isn't that cute, this little boy singing about puppy love? You know? Bieber, little kid. That's appropriate. He's a little boy singing about puppy love. And they raped him in the ass. Jesus. Like, seriously. You can't be okay with that. And silence is consent. Silence is saying you're okay with it. 
I'm not God, okay with it. Me neither. No, I won't be okay with this. God ain't either. Mm-mm. God's done with it. Imagine if a male did that to stage to a teenage girl. Yeah, everyone exactly. would be talking. Yeah, that's insane. But it's okay to do to males. No, 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 no. You keep your hands to yourself. You touch no one, male or female. You know? They're kids. And everyone was, some people were doubting what Diddy did to Cassie. But now we see the tapes, what Diddy did to Cassie. Did he beat the shit out of that girl? How old was Beyonce when, when Jay-Z got with her? 18. 18. Okay. That, Foxy Brown. But, How old was Foxy Brown? But yeah. They think she he got with her at 16 and they kept it on the down low. Well, there you go. We should do that portrait thing. It's so Foxy good. Brown was 15 when she went to Jay-Z. Aaliyah was 14. I got the producer coming out. Can we put a portrait like we did? No, I don't. Oh, because you don't want to read it that way. Yeah, you're right. The reading it that way is annoying. It hurts my neck. Yeah, never mind. You're right. Uh. It's so messed up. They said, they said that Diddy was going to places like Ohio and picking up girls, high school girls, and shipping them out in planes to his yachts and freak out. Freak out, yeah. His freak outs. Freak offs. Freak offs. High school girls. How did they get access to that? Because the cops are protecting them. Because they're federal informants. Diddy's crew. Yeah. Oh, it's Diddy's crew. He's fine. Yeah, they're just federal informants. That's how he hid from you. Hey, cops in Ohio. There had to be one good cop that's like, wait, what the f- Why aren't you charging these guys for sex trafficking, little girls? Wouldn't there have been one cop that saw it and was, wait, isn't there like, isn't that like a 15-year-old girl going on that into that fucking SUV with these guys? There was this dude who was holding his kid's hands with a mask on on YouTube and a cop came up and questioning him and saying, I want your ID now. And the guy was trying to fight the cop and acted like he was some kind of victim. But it's like, look at the cop's point of view. He sees a man with a mask on holding two kids hands. What do you think you would? Do? Oh my God. What do you think? He had two kids hands. His own. They oh, were his, his own. own. He makes YouTube videos with them, but he had a mask on. Oh. I think the cop did the right thing. No, but he he's, did. He's still acting like he's some victim. No, no he could have been a kidnapper. You should be happy the cop did that. The guy could have been a kidnapper. Yeah, exactly. A predator. No, you give your ID and say, I'm sorry, man. I know what it looks like. <laughs> Those girls had zero clue what was going to happen, poor thing. Right. Yeah, right. They didn't know that they were going to get drugged by the 2C. At most, they would have thought, okay, I go party, and if there's a boy I like, cool. I mean, like, Diddy said it himself. Like, um, he said it himself. If they're not willing, the 2C will make them willing. Exactly. They, they chemically induce horniness. And they say they're getting pussy. You're not getting pussy, man. You're taking it. You're chemically <laughs> inducing girls to want to have sex mm -hmm. with drugs. Mm -hmm. And you don't tell them they're drugged. Oh, it's just a shot. Take the shot. Is there drugs in this? Just take the shot. Take it. P. Diddy's son. That's what yep. he said. Yep. They got a recording of it. She said, is there drug? You're drugging me. Take the shot now. You don't have a choice to take the shot. That's coercion and rape. Done. She had bruises. They have pictures of her. She's got a tattoo that looks totally Masonic. She's probably a Masonic sex slave. She's a white girl, skinny white girl and with a tattoo, and she had bruises all over her fucking arms. Bruises all up and down her arms. What do you think he was doing with her, man? Apparently, he forced her to give head. That's what happened. Apparently. Ugh. 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 You're all going to hell. You're going to burn. Ugh. And you, you fucking deserve it. Yeah, Every man. person that was involved with this shit, you deserve to burn. Forever. Because you damaged... 
these girls' minds. And so do you. Them guys. And so do you, Dragna, a.k.a. Alfred Mims. You deserve the same fate because you are in the same fucking system, you big. You get it. You're never going to touch my ass. That's why you go to prostitutes to pick them up so you can do some trash to them, you pig. Better repent. Go, go to your family's uh, beliefs, drag. You need to get saved, man. <clears throat> we know who you are. And you decided to go and rebrand yourself because you started getting caught at what you were doing. I will never want to talk to you. You are part of the problem. You better repent, dude. It's so close now. You listened to me before, you would be a billion dollar preacher now, you know. And you bet your ass. Whatever. If an FBI agent comes to me, we will show you. All the fucking links to sex trafficking that you provided to us thinking we'd be into that shit, you stupid idiot. Yeah, and you got a chance to clean it up because I told everybody on your, your Cura profile, dude. Clean it up. Yeah, look at Alfred Mims Curora. All sex trafficking. That's a sex trafficking place, Cura. And it's supposed to just be like sort of linked in. With, with that you can talk to people, LinkedIn type thing. Mm -hmm. It's sex trafficking. A lot. I know what you do. A lot of these sites out there are strictly for sex trafficking. It's clear. And you and you know what? We'll talk about all your little people too. Everyone involved, Uncle Sam, Deidre. Weirdness. All you fucking weird people. I knew when I got involved with that crew of shit that it felt wrong. And you all have your little get-together so you could do vile, fucking, contemptuous, fucking, debaucherous, fuck-up shit. Oh, you don't like hearing that truth, do you? Google Plus had an actual child pornographer on it, dude. In our hangouts. The guy's name was Sean G. In our hangouts. He was an actual child pornographer. Matt Bell, Matt UK, Bell, the UK. Look up, you look up BBC Matt Bell. This is what drag got these people into, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I, well, we don't know. Allegedly, there's multiple people involved here. Lots. That whole crew, that that the Pal Talk people. It's been happening for years. The Pal Talk people were into. Torture porn with knives. Matt Bell, for instance. Look up Matt BBC. Look it up on YouTube. BBC Matt Bell and see what he was doing in the sex trafficking industry. There's layers to this stuff. Yeah, and it's everywhere. It is everywhere. Like... It, and it's getting worse, man. Like, if you're a woman, don't ever be alone. Don't ever be alone at this point. Because there, there's stories that these people in their white vans are taking women and kidnapping them and then throwing them in the sex industry. Yeah. Uh-uh. And Cat Williams, man, he's like all these sexual deviants. They are. It'd be exposed now. Wake up. It's not okay to be in. Do your research, okay? Listen. Huh? Research Diddy. Yeah. Research Trump. Mm -hmm. Research Epstein Island. Yup. Yeah. Okay? Research these things and research the rituals of Freemason. Research this yeah. and come back to me and then tell me. You can support these people afterwards. Peace and Maranatha. I love you guys. If you'd like to give us some support, we're kind of hungry. Uh, uh -huh. That would be wonderful. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Keep your eyes focused. Look out. There's fucked up people out there. Okay? Yeah. And if I die, you know who killed me. Bye, guys.